Hello, Sam Owens here with a product review and uh, this is just in time for the cooler weather coming up. Uh, this is the Baloo Apollo uh, Microthermic Heating Element. That's what it has. It's a heater and it's got directional infrared heating, instant operation, quiet operation, and heat without loss. It looks like it's going to be great. It can be mounted uh, sitting on the floor and it's got a handle in the back. We're going to see all about it. Uh, in addition to mounting it on the floor, it has a, a wall mount. This is the wall mount and there's holes there. There's a template in and I am going to show the wall mount. I took this off to show how it uh, connects to the back. Uh, it's uh it was a little unclear and i saw some difficulty and uh when i show you how it goes in and it'll uh, be clear okay uh here is the model number and uh the control panel and it comes in black or white this one is a black one it should come right on out and pull this side Look, there's the leg supports uh, packed in the uh, shipping uh, styrofoam and that will go underneath here. This is the bottom and this is the back. It's got the handle. This uh, wall mount, you have to take it off and then there's a template that's going to allow you to uh, mark the correct locations for two screws. They give you two screws to mount that. And there is the on off switch, which is a little, uh, it's actually covered in uh, plastic. And you may wonder, what is this? This is the temperature sensor right here. And it's stored kind of right next to the power cord. You get a uh, instruction manual right here. Uh, and there's a little guide in there also okay like right here you got a quick start guide which is going to tell you a little bit about uh, mounting and uh, foot installation and the mode uh, or control panel uh, there's a timer. Uh, I would suggest you read all of this material before you really get into installing it and uh, working with it. I'm going to go ahead and install the feet. And one thing I realize now is that there's a little caster zone that allow you to roll it. And uh, right here, both of them. Okay, uh, I'm not sure. Yep. It's marked. L for left and R for right so they are designated this right here are the two screws that are going to hold the feet in position these are the mounting screws uh, for the wall mount right here you get uh, two to mount the bracket and these are two locking screws uh, to lock the top uh, so that the uh, unit doesn't come away from the um, the wall mount and these are two uh, actually they're uh, anchors that if you're going into concrete or something like that or drywall let's put the right one on and this is right and I don't need any tools to do it these will work just fine and you just go in there and guide it around until you feel the hole and it'll go in and once I get it on, I'll, I'll turn it around and show you. Okay. Right there. And it tightens up, and it's in position. And that's the way it'll look when it's finished. Okay, and now I'll put this one on. And it's nice that they mark them so you don't make a mistake. And I get my other thumb screw. And it goes on. There's a little place over here that it goes along the angle and you just line up that bottom guide 
stick this in and you'll feel the little guide for the screw hole. You can do this. It's This is not hard to set up and operate from what I saw in my preview of it to be able to explain it to you. And you don't have to over tighten this. Just get it to so it's not moving around a lot. Okay, now we're going to set this up. Oh, yeah. And really, it's, it's not just... You can slide it, but it's only rolling forward and back. And I guess that's uh, so you can pick it up and move it. It doesn't, it will slide though. It'll, it'll slide on the floor, uh, but the rolling action is forward and back. Okay, that is going to be cool. And with your handle, you're gonna be able to pick it up and uh, move it from room to room. There's a uh, operating your heater, uh, the control panel, which I have uh, pointing up there. The on and off button is that button on the side, right there. Now we're gonna turn it on and select a mode of operation for this. There's three modes. The power switch is right over here that I showed you before. And you press on the down part of it, we'll turn it on and you'll feel it snap. And there it come on and it says, it was so quick I didn't get to, I think it was invitation. Okay, it's on one mode, which uh, is the lowest mode. Uh, that is the uh, eco, let's see, three modes. Uh, that is the 37 degrees uh, anti-frost mode range from 34 to 54 Fahrenheit. The default value is 37. Okay, that would be for just, you want to keep it in that range, 34 to 54 the next eco uh, mode range is from 55 to 96 and the comfort mode is from 76 to 96 and the default it, there's defaults there as you can see okay we're gonna pick uh this uh second mode eco, eco mode range from 55 uh, to 96 so I'm gonna go, and here is the mode switch right here. Okay, that was the top one. And the default is 76, it says. But it's 77 right now. That's the temperature here. And what I can do is go down, or I can go up within that range. That's just a quick way. You can go to any range you want in there, it looks like, yes. But that is a default range. So let me go through the defaults. That's the lowest one. And you should feel it, uh, it'll probably click off uh, when you're in that range. And uh, let's see, I can even go lower or I can go up if I want it 40. Okay. Now, at any time, I can turn the unit off without turning the main power switch. That's the main power switch. So if I want to turn it back on, it goes through that. Uh, okay. And I'm in that second mode, or actually the last mode. Uh, the default is 37. And let's see. Let me go through them. Okay, I'd actually, whatever you set it to, it's going to leave it there. So let me go down to the next mode. 37, right there. See? Okay, heating is off when those green bars are off. And then when I go up, I can get it to where it'll come on. As long as they're dark, it's not heating. So I'd probably have to go up to 76 or so, which is the temperature right now here. I'm gonna go up till I see it come on. Whoop. In that range, that's as, as high as you can go. So that's the whole idea of the modes 
is to just keep you in a range uh, without having to go the full range each time. Okay, uh, you press and hold it. You, if you want to turn off the timer, you hold it until you get to zero. Oop. So you got to hold it and get close to 24 and then stop. And just go one at a time there. The timer is off now. The instructions really tell you clearly uh, so I don't think that'll be a problem. Timer and menu and select button. Uh, there's uh, a number of things uh, that uh, will take operating it and following the instruction. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to mount the wall mount onto the back. Here are the top holes and this is the top part of the mount. There's two of them. And then the bottom is right down here on either side. So this side is going to be mounted to the wall of whatever you're going to find to, to mount it on. And then you, uh, you would push this on, but I'm going to show you how to remove this because when you get this, this is going to be attached to the back. And I want to make it clear as to how to remove it. Okay, to install it, you're going to clip in here but then you're going to push these up into the holes there and it, before I do do you see to push on it it's going to unlock this from the top part there on either side so sometimes you may have to bend this a little bit as we'll see okay go down there and then you're going to push this one in and you just push it in like that and this one goes over here and you can actually just there okay now this is going to hold it onto the wall but to get it out I found you have to kind of lift up on this to bend it up a little bit so that you can pull down and pull it out you see that so you may have to pull up on it and see right here this one doesn't want to come out that easy so when you do you bend up a little bit and now you can just pull it right out and then you would go to your wall mounting which we're going to do now so I just wanted to demonstrate that part now after laying out the the location and it meets the guidelines in the wall mounting uh, directions you it just it tells you to mount into these holes these two screws using anchors if you need these are places that you can mount the screw where you can remove this uh, without taking the screw out if you mount in these holes then this is going to stay up there I like the idea of putting two screws in there and using these top holes and that will hold it in position and still allow you to remove it without removing the bracket so to set this up, find your dimensions, and you can look on just about any ruler, and it says 250, uh, which is, uh, if you'll look in there, right here, and you can actually do it this way, is measure from the center of this hole to the center of the other hole, and it's like 250 that's 250 millimeters right there. You add a zero to everything. Okay. Now, to get your line straight, you do not want it mounted like this. So use a level, one of these, just a simple level, and you put you one hole as to where you want it. Like, I've already put a hole marking right here. That will be the location I want. Now, I need a horizontal line across there using a level to go up here like this and then you want this level where it's just within these two marks and that is level then draw your line across there and there's my line I don't know if you can see it but that will be close enough to let me be able to mount it where the uh, the 
it's going to look straight and won't look crooked. You do not want it crooked. It'll, it'll bug you. Okay, then you should drill a pilot hole if this is like a, a wood backing. A pilot hole, you can just select a screw, uh, a, uh, a drill bit that is uh, smaller than the one, uh, the screw. And that one is, so I'm going to use that. Just to be on the safe side, before I put the other hole, you know, by measuring and so forth like this and marking it, I'm going to go ahead and install one screw so that I got an accurate location as to where to put that and I'm not off just a little bit. I've got my mark and I'm going to drill this hole right here. Okay, I got her through. Okay, let's pop this in now. And then I know I'll have this one ready. I'm not going all the way. Okay, I'm stopping where I'm about a quarter of an inch away. And then I want to measure and make sure. See, that's going to go on. This will go over the screw hole or the screw head and drop down. And then I can move it in to where I feel like I can not have it so sloppy like that. So I'm going to go ahead and not tighten it down, but just get it closer. Okay. That will be fine right there. And then I still can get it off easy and it'll be enough to hold it. Now with that in place, then you see I can make an accurate uh, measurement of where the hole is going to be. I'm going to put the hole right here. There you go. Just let that drop down. I know it takes a little longer but uh, to, to change it out, but if you got two drills, uh, you can have it all set up. Okay, now I'm going to drill this one. should be able to put this in it should fit just perfect and it should be a level again I don't put it all the way in I stop it just short there we go that's perfect now I can move this one in a little bit I want to be able to move it up and down see I got a little bit Okay. All right. Give her a test to see if it'll come up, and then you'll be able to mount, uh, take the whole unit off of the wall when you need it. Okay. Now, with the feet off, I turn it around so that I've got the bottom like this, and then I guide it into those holes like that. Just like that. And then you tip it up. And then you look behind. And it, it'll hold it up there. On the bottom. And then you've got to guide the whole. You have to look around from the side. And guide the left one. So you may have to pick up a little bit. That's why I think. That is going to be, uh, uh, there's one, whoop, okay, I got one on, and now you have to go over to this side, oh, yeah, okay, and push it on. And then once you have them lined up, there. Okay. It's on. Now, you do not want this uh, running behind uh, the heater at all. You want nothing behind the heater, especially the cord here. So, it's on there. And now, before we do anything else, I want to show you how we can lift it off 
and not have to reach back there and try to operate those little clips, uh, which could be difficult, uh, not being able to see good. So now I can lift up on this and pull out just like that. So it might be easier if you just go ahead and leave this on, well, take it off to make your marks up here and then put it back on and then use these holes right here and here to go over your screws and I'm just going to demonstrate that. Now what you have to do is kind of look at it and line it up and go up and see if you can like, let's see I, I gotta look and see let me see around here I tell you, you might want to only do this one time. Ah, that one's on. You'll have to do one at a time and then go over here. It's on the one. And now I just go up. Ah. You can do it. It's not as hard as I'm showing, but it's the first time I've been trying to do it. And uh, it's a little more difficult than I uh, thought. It won't be once you try it. And uh, if you have a light back there and get your head, I can actually see when it's lined up, but you can't have these on uh, and mount it to the wall. So you have to decide which way you want to mount it, but you still can change it. Right now I could pull it off the wall and uh, uh, mount the feet. Okay, I want to thank you for watching my video.